well-funded yeah, uh, right. promotional campaign. It's well-intentioned, we know that. We, we can't argue with the messages that are on these shirts, <laughs> but what we're looking for is to somebody actually see another side of the coin. First of all, domestic violence is a very serious issue, but to use it as a tactic in divorce and to have them be so well-funded by Senator Joe Biden and his uh, Violence Against Women Act, not being able to see the, that there is another side to the story and to use it as a tactic is, is what we're fighting for. We're looking for judges essentially to say, is there domestic violence or is there not? We need them to be held accountable. We need them to make a decision and to make the right decision rather than take the safe and easy way out and say, oh, by the way, because he's a father, he has potential for violence and therefore the children should be with the mother. That is what is not right. So while we certainly understand this perspective, we're looking for the governor, the honorable Sen the governor Strickland to look at out to see our side of the issue. Dads need to be there for their kids as well. Did you know that the, that the Ohio Revised Code uses the best interests of the children? That They use that doctrine to determine who gets custodial parenting. In, in Section 3109.4, the best interest is being abused. Domestic violence advocacy groups have stated that if two parents can't agree that it's not in, that it's not in the children's best interest to have shared parenting the problem with that philosophy is that a parent who knows that they have the greater likelihood of getting custody has no incentive to agree to shared parenting and if two parents can't agree the state of ohio being a having the presumption of of a custodial parenting arrangement will give custody to the mother rather than the father. Our fight is about parental equality.